Hola amigos from El Tri Online, my name is Joe Rodriguez. Thank you for joining me today in the second leg of the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Champions League. Three Liga MX teams are down to their MLS counterparts. Let's take a look at the bracket and see how things are unfolding. As we take a look at the left side of the bracket, Club America is leading their Panamanian counterparts four goals to nothing. And right below that, you can see that Toronto FC has a slight margin over Tigres two to one. Chivas is down one to nothing on the other side of the bracket. And the New York Red Bulls surprisingly went to Tijuana and wound up with a two nothing victory over the Cholos. Let's go to the action early in the game, minute 10. Cholos on the attack and Mendoza is able to tap the ball in and just like that makes things 1-0 for Tijuana. Take another look, Rubio Rubin is able to drop it with the chest and Luis Mendoza at the right place at the right time. 23rd minute of the game and Mendoza again with a crack and Robles taps the ball, hits the crossbar. The Red Bulls are saved from the game being tied. It wouldn't take too long for the Red Bull spot to answer. Michael Murillo with a nice assist that finds Tyler Adams. And in a matter of minutes, New York had scored, making the game tied one apiece. Michael Murillo did a lot of damage for the New York Red Bulls as he crosses the ball inside the box. Bradley Wright Phyllis finds Satkowski, and just like that, the Red Bulls are up two to one. Things start to look very dim for Tijuana. Minute 76, Bradley Wright Phillips has a dragging cross that Argentinian Romero Gamara finds and puts in the back of the net. And that would be all for the Red Bulls who come up victorious. Three goals to one and move on to the semifinals of the CONCACAF Champions League with a 5-1 aggregate. Let's head out to Nuevo Leon where Toronto FC taking on Tigres in the battle of champions. Early in the game, Sebastian Jovinko tries to filter the ball in to Josie Altador, but Carioca taps the ball in and creates an own goal. Take another look as Jovinko crosses the ball in, but Carioca tries to deflect it and it goes straight to the back of the net. Minute 69, on the cross, a double header attempt and Adu Vargas that's able to beat Keeper. And Tigres now with a sense of life. Take another look as Jurgen Dahm was able to just tap the ball with his head and Adu Vargas is able to score for Tigres. Just four minutes later and Sebastian Jovinko with a beauty. Tigres now down two goals to one in a 4-2 aggregate. Take another look as Jovinko gets a nice spin on this ball and the keeper has no chance. And now Toronto FC with a commanding league. Tigger is trying to make something out of nothing and Guignac finds himself at the right place at the right time and is able to tap in the ball and cuts the league for Tigres. It's 4-3 in the aggregate. Now, a penalty kick is called here. Chignac will convert that. But it would not be enough for the side from Nuevo Leon as Toronto FC ends up moving on with a 4-4 on aggregate, but moves on on away goals. I want to remind you, MLS teams are only two games into their season. Meanwhile, Liga MX teams are more than halfway through the regular season. The second leg of the quarterfinals continue today with Chivas hosting Seattle Sounders in Guadalajara. Meanwhile, Club America travels down to Panama to take on Tauro. As for the semifinals, those will be played the first week of April. And as far as who's going to be hosting the first leg, that is to be determined. That does it for this edition. I'm Joe Rodriguez, and thank you for watching.